So for those of you that regularly follow the channel, you will know that this is my personal gaming PC. And in a recent video, we upgraded the GPU to this monster of a card, the RX 7900 XT. But we've been having some issues and hopefully today we'll be fixing it with this. Now, for those of you that watched our last video on the upgrade that we did to this machine with the Radeon RX 7900 XT, you will know that we have a little bit of a problem called a bottleneck. Now, for those that don't know what a bottleneck is, in simple terms, it's when a specific component or multiple components in a system are too slow and hold other components back from getting their full potential. Now, in our system, we have a slight bottleneck on the CPU. And what that means is that the CPU cannot feed enough data to the graphics card. So the RX 7900 XT just doesn't have room to breathe. Now, we are getting exceptional results from the RX 7900 XT it's way better than the graphics card we had before but it clearly isn't performing as well as it could so we needed a new CPU to be able to unlock it. Now we didn't want to upgrade the platform because it can actually be quite expensive and the AM4 platform is perfectly fine for modern gaming so we reached out to a couple of friends and other tech tube channels and we asked them what was the best upgrade that we can make and our friend Chris from the good old gamer YouTube channel make sure you check them out if you want to see the kind of things that he gets up to there recommended this CPU as part of one of his live streams. Now this is the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X 3D and it's one of AMD's latest in fact up to the recent releases of their 7000 X3D chips this was actually one of the fastest gaming processors on the market and it still is pretty quick now. It may be a last generation process but it's going to save you a ton of money particularly if you're currently sitting on an AM4 platform and it's really going to be able to support pretty much every graphics card out there. Now this CPU cost us around £300 which was actually not bad considering a whole new platform would have cost us nearly up to a thousand. So we think we actually got lucky in there. The CPU we've currently got in this system is a 5600X and it clearly isn't cutting it. It is a 6 core 12 thread processor whereas the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D is an 8 core 16 thread processor. Now obviously when it comes to gaming those cores and threads are not really going to make much of a difference and to be honest when it actually comes to our synthetic benchmarks you'll see that it doesn't look as impressive as it should. Running a couple of Cinebench tests on both of these CPUs we can see that in multi-core obviously the Ryzen 7 outperforms the 5600X by quite a bit and that is not unexpected because obviously we've got more cores and more threads to play with. But then when it comes to the single core it's the other way around. The 5600X outperforms the Ryzen 7 and that's because of its higher clock speeds. But that is not the selling point of the X3D chips. Obviously synthetic benchmarks using something like Cinebench doesn't test the gaming performance and these are actually fantastic for gaming due to their 3D stack Vcash. Now to find out how well this CPU actually will perform over the 5600X obviously we needed to do some gaming benchmarks and to do that we needed to get the CPU installed. Now if you're going to be making an upgrade like this obviously most of the platforms will support it even some of the older A320 boards will support some of the latest processors from AMD particularly in the 5000 series. The board we have in this system is a B550 and it is perfect for a 5800X3D upgrade but we did need to do some work to it first. The first thing we needed to do was update our BIOS and because the BIOS on this motherboard was a little bit old anyway it probably needed doing. Updating your BIOS not only opens it up for extra compatibility for CPUs but it can also provide security fixes, bug fixes and general compatibility fixes throughout the whole system. Now we upgraded our BIOS to the latest one and we had absolutely no issues at all it just went flawlessly throughout and obviously after the update both the 5600X and the 5800X 3D are both supported. So then we had to come and swap the CPU. Now swapping CPUs isn't that difficult we just simply had to remove the cooling solution that we currently had on there and we currently run a 360mm fractal AIO, clean up the CPU from any existing thermal paste, remove the existing CPU and install the new 5800X3D. Reinstalling our thermal paste and CPU cooler we were ready to go and we got that system up and running and started to do some benchmarks. So let's take a look at some of those benchmarks and show you exactly how much faster this CPU is when it comes to gaming.
So as you can see from this benchmarks, upgrading to the 5800X3D was absolutely worth it. We saw some tremendous improvements in the games and it really does allow us to unlock the full potential of the RX 7900XT. Now I'm not sure how long that will last because the graphics cards are just going to improve over time. If we remember some of the older AMD graphics cards, in particular the 5700XT, it didn't have that great of a start, but as AMD matured the drivers and game updates kind of came out, the card actually really improved when it came to performance. And that is exactly what's going to happen with this card. So maybe we will need to change the platform in the future, but for now, this CPU is going to be more than enough. We did test more games this time than we usually do. And as you can see from the results, there was a great uplift in many of them. In Back for Blood, we went from 187 frames per second on average to 332. That was a plus 77% increase, which is absolutely fantastic. In Dying Light 2, we had a 27% increase. In Horizon Zero Dawn, we didn't actually see that much. Maybe that game isn't actually as CPU intensive as we thought, or maybe there is some kind of weird driver issues, but we did actually see a slight increase of 1%, so at least we didn't go down in performance. In Spider-Man Remastered, we actually had a 28% increase in performance between the 5600X and the 5800X 3D. And then in one of the hardest games to actually run as part of the suite was A Plague's Tale Requiem, where we saw a 37% increase. Stray has been one of our most favorite games. It's not the most demanding game of all, and we could clearly see that with the old CPU getting 224 frames per second on average, but with the new CPU, we got a plus 28% increase. The last game in our suite was World War Z. This is one of our favorites to play, and we saw a plus 22% increase. So as you can see, there were increases all the way across the table, and those are some of the most favorite games that we played. I'm not 100% sure what kind of increases we would get at other resolutions, because all the tests we ran were at 1080p, and we do that on purpose, because what that will actually do is put more demand on the CPU. Now, if we were to run those games at a different resolution, the demand would change, and it would actually go to the GPU itself leaving the CPU with a little bit more space in it and as we saw from our previous benchmarking the 5600X didn't actually have any issues at those higher resolutions so at least now we've kind of unlocked some actual potential down at that 1080p which is going to be really good for us going forward when games become even more demanding because we may have to drop our resolution but I couldn't imagine there being any decreases when we actually raise the resolutions with the 5800X 3D. Now for those of you that are sitting on an AM4 platform, we can highly recommend this CPU as a great upgrade option. It is currently running at about £300 if you purchase from Amazon here in the UK, and I'm pretty sure that it's around the same price on other websites as well. This CPU is only ever going to get cheaper with the new ones coming out, so it's going to make a great upgrade potential for many different people because there are plenty of AM4 systems out there. So make sure you check it out if you are going to look to upgrade. This system is now actually going to be returned home. It's been in the studio for a few weeks now, and I really want to get it home to get gaming again. There are some new games coming out soon that I really want to play, in particular Dead Island 2. I can't wait for that game to come out. It's been a long time waiting and I really want to play it. But let us know in the comments below, do you currently run a 5800X3D or is it something that you're looking forward to upgrading to soon? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content and we'll catch you in the next one.